Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nigel. I hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of the vintage lenses that I've invested in recently, as well as some things you can do to the lenses that you currently own to give them more of that vintage look. So a little while ago, I borrowed these two lenses from my buddy Darren. This is a Sears 50 millimeter F1.7 and a Fuji, Fujifilm 55 millimeter F2.2. And I converted these to EF mount and I was playing around with them on a Viltrox Speed Booster. And I just really liked the really good build quality and nice smooth focus that I got with these vintage lenses. Something that I was missing in my more modern fly-by-wire lenses that I use on my Micro Four Thirds cameras. And so I decided that I wanted to start investing in some vintage lenses that I could use on my GH3 just to give me a little bit more of that control back with my focusing and have a little bit more of a robust feel to my lenses. And even though I really liked these M42 lenses that I converted to EF, I just heard so much good things about the Canon FD system when using it with Micro Four Thirds sensor that I wanted to try out some Canon FDs instead. So the two Canon FDs that I decided to go with were the 50 millimeter F1.8 and a 24 millimeter F2.8. Now I do have a dumb adapter to just convert these right to a Micro Four Thirds mount, but I also have this Pixco 0.71 focal reducer. So this is gonna give me a wider field of view with these old vintage lenses, as well as an extra stop of light, which is pretty sweet. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing these two vintage Canon FD lenses. I'm gonna be telling you what I like and don't like about them. I'm gonna be giving you a quick review on this cheap Pixco focal reducer, as well as showing you how you can get a more vintage look with your modern lenses, like the look that I'm getting right now. Right now I'm shooting with my Panasonic 25 millimeter F1.7, and I'm using a filter to help give me a little bit more halation in my highlights and just bring up the shadows a little bit. So what I wanted to do was show you the different characteristics that you get with modern, pretty sharp and flawless lenses like these against the Canon FD vintage lenses. And I'm also gonna be giving you some tests with and without a black ProMist filter, which is what I'm using on my 25 millimeter F1.7 right now. I'm using a quarter black ProMist, and that's what's giving me the halation in the highlights. All right, so now let's take a look at some quick examples of the Canon FD lenses with the Pixco Focal Reducer and see the differences between the Canon FD lenses and the native Micro Four Thirds lenses. The two lenses that I'm testing here are the 15 millimeter F1.7 and the 42.5 millimeter F1.7. And I used a variable ND filter on all these lenses. It was this one right here. This is the Moment variable ND, which I really like. Uh, it's really good quality. So using the same variable ND on each of these lenses. I just wanna show you a little bit of the differences between the Canon FDs and the Micro Four Thirds lenses. So this is the field of view that you get with the Canon FD 24 millimeter with the Pixco Focal Reducer. And then this is the DJI 15 millimeter with the same variable ND. Straight off the bat, you can see that there is a slight color difference between these two lenses. Obviously the 15 millimeter is a little wider as well, but something that I can tell right off the bat is that the Canon FD lenses do have that very noticeable green tint that a lot of people talk about, but I actually kind of like that. And the reason being is because my GH3 always has a very noticeable magenta shift. And so I always have to put a little bit more green into my footage that I shoot with my GH3. So these lenses giving me a little bit more of a green cast in my footage really doesn't bother me that much. It just kind of takes one step out of my color grading process. And then here we can see the 50 millimeter F1.8, and this is at 1.8 with the Pixco Focal Reducer and the Panasonic 42.5. So in this instance, the Panasonic is actually more cropped in just because it's a little bit of a tighter focal length. You'll notice that the Panasonic is noticeably sharper than the Canon FD. And again, that green cast is definitely in the Canon FD lenses. So one other thing that I kind of wanted to play around with was whether or not I could get a similar look and feel to my Micro Four Thirds lenses by adding a black Pro Mist filter. So I'm gonna show you the differences between the Canon FD lenses and then the Micro Four Thirds lenses with the black Pro Mist filter on. I definitely pay attention to the skin tones and the shadows, especially in the tree in the background. So this is the Canon 24 millimeter. And then this is the 15 millimeter with the black Pro Mist filter on it. Now, if we compare this shot with the original shot without the black Pro Mist, you'll notice that the shadows are a lot darker 
and there's less halation in the highlights. But as far as that softer, less digital look, the Black Pro Mist filter definitely helps you achieve that. All right, so let's talk about the build quality of these Canon FD lenses that I have. Now, I believe these are newer Canon FD lenses, so these aren't the SSC lenses. These are the ones that were made a little bit more recently. Having used other vintage lenses in the past, these ones definitely do feel a little bit more plasticky, but still miles better than the toy-like feel of the Panasonic lenses that I own. So you might be able to notice that I have done some things to these lenses to make them a little bit more efficient for video use. First thing is I use step-up rings. So the filter diameter of these two lenses and a lot of the prime lenses from Canon FD are a 52 millimeter filter thread. So I have a 52 to 77 millimeter step-up ring on both of these lenses. And then I also have these focus gears that fit nice and snug and it definitely gives you a more tactile feel when you're manual focusing and they work perfectly with follow focus systems as well. So that's something that you can do just to add a little bit more of functionality to your old vintage lenses. As I said before, I have two different adapters. This one is just a really cheap dummy adapter that doesn't have any glass inside. This one's by Photosy. This is an FD to micro four thirds. And then I have this Pixco bulk reducer. So this is kind of like a cheap speed booster for micro four thirds cameras. And this converts FD to micro four thirds. And it also gives me a 0.71 focal reduction. So I get a little bit of a wider field of view with the FD lenses that I have. And it also gives me an extra stop of light as well. So there's definitely some pros and cons between using either of these. This is gonna keep most of the optical quality because you're not putting any more glass in between the lens and the sensor. Whereas this has the potential to degrade the image a little bit. So what I wanna do is test the sharpness between using a dumb adapter and just seeing how sharp these lenses actually are by themselves, and then adding the Pixco Focal Reducer and seeing if this reduces the sharpness at all. Now, as far as this little Pixco Focal Reducer, I believe that it's exactly the same as the Roxen Focal Reducers. I think it's just been rebranded by Pixco, but I've used Roxen Focal Reducers before and I kinda know what to expect. They're not as sharp as Metabones, but they're actually pretty good, especially for the price. So I'm also gonna be testing the flaring when it comes to using a focal reducer like this. Some of you have asked me to do some tests and see if there's any internal flaring because of this extra piece of glass when using a focal reducer. So now let's test the flaring of this 24 millimeter FD in combination with the Pixco and see if we can get any weird internal flares because of that extra piece of glass. All right, so let's try to flare this lens as much as I can. I'm gonna turn this bad boy up. All right, so there obviously is some flares, but honestly, that doesn't look really that bad. Be a little bit right there when I come out of like a super sharp angle, but. So if you were interested in what this Pixco Focal Reducer actually does as far as the field of view, these are some tests that I did just to kind of show you the difference in field of view that you get between using the Pixco Focal Reducer and just using a dummy adapter. The 24 millimeter acts like a 48 with a dummy adapter and more like a 34 with the Pixco and the 50 millimeter acts like a 100 millimeter with the dumb adapter and more like a 71 millimeter with the Pixco. All right, so overall, I've actually been really happy with these vintage Canon FD lenses. And I feel like if you are in the market for getting yourself a set of manual lenses that you can actually practice manual focusing on, getting some vintage lenses is a really good way to go. Now, although these weren't the sharpest lenses that I've ever used, the softer image I feel like is mostly coming through that Pixco Focal Reducer. If you got something like the Metabones FD Speed Booster, that would probably give you a lot better results. But again, shooting in 4K, you're really not gonna notice that slight decrease in sharpness if you're using this on something like a GH4 or GH5. I've actually really enjoyed using these lenses. I've used them on a couple of different projects and just out and about shooting, and it really made me enjoy and going back to fully manual lenses, especially because I've been using my native Panasonic lenses for such a long time. Having lenses like these were a really nice change. So most of the gear that I mentioned is gonna be linked in the description below, so you can go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, what you can do is click right over here and you can go check out some more of my videos. Anyways, thank you all so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Later.